This is the Edith Bowen Laboratory School. This is Edith Bowen. Home of 304 students, grades K through 5. Good friend of John Dewey. You know, democracy and education, constructivism. Yeah, that John Dewey. His constructivist philosophy was at the heart of the Edith Bowen Laboratory School in 1928. It's still our philosophy today. The thing is, we have a lot going on in our building. We're a fully functioning public charter elementary school. We work with over 300 teacher education students from Utah State University in a typical school year, and we have a constant cycle of formal and informal research projects going on. So our big question is, how do we keep the focus on our students, especially our students who have challenges? This, our principal, Dan Johnson. These, students. Mr. Johnson wears the suit and tie. Usually our students don't wear a suit and tie. These are Edith Bowen teachers. They're highly educated and use best practice for instruction. Mr. Johnson knows the most effective path to student success is when teachers, even highly educated ones, have a shared vision and input in the school. This leveled intervention. Notice how small the group is? Every student gets this small group instruction daily for both math and reading. Now it all happened because teachers wanted to provide students with a more individualized instructional time. Teachers figured out a way with staff on how to make it happen. Administration supported the plan. Shared leadership, it really does work. Our teachers, they don't have a lot of extra time, but when they're given common time to work collaboratively, good things happen. Things like mm, partnerships with some very cool organizations, exciting school-wide STEM and place-based experiences, and a whole lot of curriculum integration. Our teachers have common planning time every day. We also have a shared PLC time for our staff every Wednesday. Common planning time, PLC with all the staff, not an accident. It's planned this way. Now, most days when we meet, we coordinate objectives, look at student outcomes, reassess SMART goals, share results of common formative assessments, you know, talk about individual student growth. But the point is, people working together to help one another, whether it's a child or an adult, that's a powerful element in our building. So how are we doing? According to the Utah State Office of Education Accountability System, Edith Bowen ranks first among comparable schools this last year in language arts, mathematics, and science. But even more important, our students are showing great strides in their academic growth. For us, growth matters. Shared leadership, common planning time, focus on the student, they've allowed us to make our school even better than it was even a few years ago. We're helping students achieve even higher academic performance levels, but we still have a ways to go. After all, does anyone want to decide which students shouldn't experience academic success? For us, the answer is easy. We want every student to succeed. Every student deserves our best efforts to help them be successful.